Hello and welcome. Today we're doing another question from Leak Code 75 and I have the whole playlist linked in my channel as well as down below if you want to check it out. So what is this question? It is string compression. We're given an array of characters and we want to compress it using the following algorithm. Begin with an empty string S and for each group of consecutive repeating characters in chars, if the group's length is one, we simply append the character to S. Otherwise, we append the character followed by the group's length, the number of times it's repeated. The compressed string S should not be returned separately, but instead be stored in the input array itself. Note that the group lengths that are 10 or longer will be split into multiple characters in chars. After you're done modifying the input array, return the new length of the array. You must write an algorithm that uses only constant extra space. Okay, so what are we doing? Let's take a look at example one over here. We have AABBCCC. We want to compress it. So we're going to see we have A over here, but it repeats twice. So instead of writing AA, we're going to write the character that we have and the number of times it's repeated. So it's going to be A followed by two. Then we have B and we see that twice as well. So it's going to be B followed by the number of times it's appeared. And we have three C's over here. So it's going to be C and then the number three. And all this is happening in place. So the array would actually be A, then two, then B, then two, then C, and then three. And all the remaining characters that are left in the end will just stay as is. We just want to return the length of that compressed string in the end. So we're going to return six. We only want to look at the first six characters of our array. And example two, we have just the character A. Now we just want to leave this as it is. We don't want to use the character A followed by a one because that's not compressing it. That's making it bigger. If we have just a single character, we're just going to leave that to B. And example three, we have one A followed by 12 Bs. So A is going to be as it is. We don't need to follow that up with a number. And we're going to write B and the number of times we've seen it. We've seen it 12 times. So we're going to write one and then two as separate strings. And that's what this part of the description was talking about. Note that group lengths that are 10 or longer will be split into multiple characters. We split 12 into one and then two and write that as a string. Okay, right, to solve this problem, say we had the following input array over here. We have three A's and a B and then two C's. What do we want our final output to look like? And I'm going to copy paste this down below so we can use this to modify our input and this can just stay as a reference. We know we have three A's, so we're gonna have A followed by the number three. Then we have B by itself. And then we have two C, so it's gonna be C followed by the number two. We don't really touch any of the later characters. And in the end, after modifying this in place, I want to return the length of our modified input. So it's going to have a length of five. So we modify this in place and return our length. So how are we going to solve this? We know we want to be iterating through our input chars and keep track of the same repeating characters we've seen. So if we come across an A and we come across three of them, we're going to insert an A over here in that first position, followed by the number. Then we see our next character group. It has just a length of one. So we just put that character in here and we see our next character group. It has a length of two and the character itself is C. So we first put the character, then the number. So if you notice, we're going to need actually two pointers, right? One to iterate through our array and one to keep track of our insert positions. And actually, I think for this problem in particular, it's going to be best if we talk through it out loud as we code it up, because it's going to show not just how to solve the problem, but how to think about solving the problem. So to get to the code right away, what we want to do is iterate through our input here. And we're going to be wanting to jump around after we have groups made, right? So we don't want to use a for loop. We're going to use a while loop. So I'm going to initialize my i to be zero. And while i is less than the length of chars, so i starts off at index zero over here, we want to see how many repeating characters we have. So right now our group length is just one. We have one of the same characters and we want to see how far out we can repeat to. So our index right now is zero. We want to see our own index plus the group length, which would put us at index one, if it has the same character that we do. So while group plus i, First of all, we want to make sure this is less than our length of our input. So we want to make sure the index we're checking is in bounds. So if this is true and the character at the index we are checking is the same as the one we have at index i. So chars of group plus i, if this is equal to chars at index i, we are going to increase that group length. So group plus equals one. So right now what is happening group is size one index i starts at zero while group plus i, so one plus zero, this index over here, index one, is less than the length of our input. That is true, it's within bounds. And the character we have at this index, so a equals what we have at index i. a equals a, that is true. So we're gonna increase our group size by one. Group is now two, we go back in our while loop. 
group plus i, so 2 plus 0 is indexed to over here. This is within bounds, and the character here is the same character we have at i. So we're going to increase that group length again. Group is now 3. Going back in this while loop, 3 is within bounds, but the character here, b, is not the same one we had at i, so we exit out of this while loop. So now we know the character we have and the number of times we've seen it. Now we just need to insert it in. So our first insert position is going to be index zero. So I'm going to have insert being zero. And at this position, so chars of insert, I'm going to set it equal to the character I have at index i. So chars of i. So at insert at index zero, we're going to put in what we have at index i, which is a. So it's just going to stay as it is. Now I want to move insert down so I can put in the number of times I've seen a. So I'm going to do insert plus equals one which means insert is now at index one. Now, what do I want to do? I want to put in a number at this insert position only if my group length is bigger than one. If we've only seen one character, we don't want to follow it up with a number, but if we've seen more than one character, we do want to follow it up with a number. And that number could be single digit or more than that single digit. So we need to figure out how many places our number is going to take up. So the first thing we want to do is see the number of times we've seen our character, and that is going to be stored in our group length. So if group is greater than one, we've seen it more than once. Now we want to know the number of places we're going to need to write in our number. So we're going to convert our number over here group to be a string. So string is going to equal the string version of group. So string over here is three. Now say, for example, string was 12. We would need to break it up into one and two and place it in two positions. So what we're going to do is take the substring of our input from insert to however long that string length is. So chars at insert up until insert plus length of our string. So right now insert is one. So we're going to start at this position and we're going to go up until insert plus length of string. So we're going to go from index one to two, not inclusive, which means we're just going to modify this index over here. But if string was 12, then the length of our string would be two and we would go from index one to index three. So we would take up these two places over here. So what do we want to assign our substring over here? We want this to be that string broken up. So I'm going to convert our string back into a list. So I'm breaking that string up into a list, which means if we had 12, it would now be one, two, which means we would put in one over here and two over here, right? But it is not 12, it is three. So instead what we're doing at this position over here, we're just going to add three over here. So now we've put in our character as well as the number of times we've seen it. What's next? We want to move our insert down. So where are we moving insert to? Insert is going to be plus equals the length of our string. So length of string. And why is that right? Right now, our string length is just one. So insert moves to two. But if it was 12 and had a length of two, so this was one and two, we want to move insert down over here. We want to move past that number. So it's going to be insert plus equal string. And let me reset this. So we're back at three and insert being over here. And now the final thing left to do is to move I down. And where do we want to move I down? So we covered that entire group of repeating characters. We want to move past that. So I is going to be plus equals group, the number of characters we've had that we're repeating. So group was three, which means we're moving I to index three. So I is over here and our next insert position is index two. So we go back in this while loop. I is still less than the length of our characters. Group is back to being one and we make a check, right? Group plus I, so three plus one puts us at index four. This is within bounds. It's less than the length of our input chars. This should be S over here. And we also want to check to make sure the character at group plus I, this should be I over here, is the same character that we have at chars of I. That is not true, right? What we have at index four is not equal to what we have at index three, which is I. So we don't increase that length of the group. And instead we add in our insert position, the character we have right now at index I. So here it's going to be B and we move insert down. So insert is over here and we make a check if group greater than one, that's not true, right? Group length was one. So we don't need to add in the number. So all we're going to do now is move I down. So I plus the length of our group, which is one. So we're moving I down by one, going back in this while loop for one final time, group length is back to one and we make a check group plus I. So one plus index four, that's five. This is within bounds and it has the same character that we had at index I. So we're going to increase that group length by one. So group is now two. We go back in this while loop. Two plus four is six. Six is not less than the length of our characters. We have six characters in total. So we don't go in this while loop 
and we assign at insert the character we have at i. So c is over here and we move insert down. It is now at index four and group is greater than one. So string is going to be the string version of group, which is two. And from insert up until insert plus length of our string. So from four to index five, and this is not inclusive. So it's just going to be the position four over here. We're going to take our string, make it a list and insert it over here. So we have two over here and we're going to move insert down to be past that length of the string we just added. That was a length of one. So we're moving insert down to be index five. And we move i down past the sides of our group. Group was two, so four plus two is going to be six, which means i is now at index six. We go back in our while loop, i is no longer less than the length of our characters, so we are done. And we exit out of our while loop, and we can see we've modified our input array. This is exactly what we were expecting over here, right? When we did this example in the very beginning. Now, the only thing left to do after modifying it is return that length that we have. So what do we want to return? We know insert is going to be positioned right after that modification is done. So it's always going to be the index after that ending point. So right now it is at index five, but we ended at index four. And the length of anything in Python, because it's zero index, is always going to be one plus the index that we have. So we are going to return insert, which is five, and that is the length of our modification. So let's go ahead and submit this. And it is accepted. Now talking about space and time complexity. For time, we are iterating through our entire input chars. So this is going to be O of N if there are N elements in our input. And for space, we're doing all of our modifications in place, right? We're not using any extra space just as we were expecting. So space is going to be O of 1 and time is going to be O of N. So we just went ahead and solved string compression. But if you have any questions with this whatsoever, of course, let me know down below. I will answer all of them. If this video was helpful, like, comment, share, and subscribe. It really supports the channel. And as always, I will see you in the next one.